You know how people always joke about ninjas? You know, they're like, Oh man, this would be so much cooler if it had ninjas. And then they laugh at themselves. And that pisses me off for various reasons. One, ninjas are no laughing matter. And two, it gives people the impression I'm trying to be cute when I say things like, This game is like Galaga with ninjas. This game very much is like Galaga with parachuting... Christmas colored ninjas, and that's no outdated internet joke. That's Sasuke versus Commander. Released to arcades in 1980, Sasuke vs. Commander is a fixed vertical shooter, like Galaga, in which you must defeat pajama wearing martial artists, ninjas. I guess if, if you want to boost your nerd credentials to all your nerd friends, you can tell them it's like Satan's Hollow, only without the fire and brimstone. You play as Sasuke, and your objective is to protect your master by killing ninjas. The game doesn't specify, but I'd imagine these crazy flying ninjas are posing some kind of threat. If there's one thing I've learned in my dojo, you only use the sacred art of ninja in defense. I learned that, and I learned that anger can be a double-edged sword that, when turned inward, is an unconquerable enemy. And my dojo's in a sewer, by the way. Regrettably, there are no cans of mutagen to improve Sasuke's performance, but the game is otherwise tremendous. I had a lot of fun playing Sasuke vs. Commander, despite the game's ample shortcomings and limitations. The gameplay is very familiar. Sasuke vs. Commander came out in the wake of the classic arcade shooters like Space Invaders, Galaxian, and Galaga, games that would be imitated by countless developers across the industry. Substituting the ship, you move Sasuke on the bottom of the screen. In substituting lasers, you're throwing daggers or ninja stars or something. It wasn't the most original game in the arcade, but it didn't need to be. Sasuke vs. Commander is built on a proven gameplay foundation, and as superficial as it may seem, the mere aesthetic shift from outer space to Japan is more than enough to give the game a distinct vibe all its own. But the key difference between Sasuke vs. Commander and a game like Galaga, for example, is the way your enemies die. Where shooting them in other games would cause them to explode and then they're not a concern, that's not the case in this one. Killing a ninja leaves its corpse to plummet to the bottom of the screen, so not only do you have to kill them, but you have to avoid their falling, lifeless bodies as well. That adds a unique dynamic to the gameplay that you wouldn't get from similar arcade shooters. You have to pay attention to a lot more obstacles, a burden that Sasuke vs. Commander lightens by throwing a lot less enemies at you. So the gameplay feels a little different than the constant enemy bombardment you'd get in similar games. It's a bit more cerebral, based more on avoiding and shooting than just the latter. We're playing the PSN re-release on the PlayStation 3 here, and it's definitely a game worth checking out. Although the gameplay looks very familiar, Sasuke vs. Commander does have its own unique feel, and it even has some of the earliest examples of boss fights in video games. And if that's not enough to sway you, yeah, it has ninjas.